So hi, this is Brian, and it's a short video tutorial about how to access the form that we have created in Google Docs to enter data for the student assistance team. Uh, additionally, I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut to access that form whenever you want. First thing you need to do is to go to your email, your GroupWise email. You will find a data entry form URL email from Brian Weaver. If you open that up, you'll see that it says click on the URL below to open the form. You may save this email and retrieve it whenever you need to access the form to enter the data, or you may use the URL to create a shortcut on your desktop. I'm going to create a shortcut, a shortcut uh, because I could save this um, email. I could put it into a file over here and access it whenever I want, uh, but I find it much more convenient to have a shortcut on my desktop. So the first thing I'm going to do is to highlight this URL. I'm going to copy it. I'm pressing down control C, but you can use whatever thing you're most uh, comfortable with. Then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find an empty spot and I'm going to right click right click and I'm going to choose new shortcut so again I'm right clicking new shortcut I'm going to press control V to paste in that URL and I'm going to click next I'm going to give it a name student assistant team form and I'm going to click finish so now I'm ready to set and go I have Chrome as my default browser so it comes up with the Chrome symbol with the uh, title but if you use Explorer you'll have the Explorer symbol that looks like this one down here with SAT form on it so I'm going to drag it over here click and drag and now I can access the form whenever I want by clicking on that shortcut and it'll bring me right to this form I'm going to select my name from the list and then a student's name there are a hundred kids on this list they are alphabetical within the name of the teacher so you can see or the staff member I have the name of the student followed by the person that it's been assigned to. If I drag, if I scroll down, I'll see here are Cummings and Hobart, Murray, Pinka, Sims, Strom, Vanderlist, and Weaver. Pretty good group. So within, within my name, these are alphabetical. So I'm just going to click on the student I'd like to track. And I'm going to choose the type of interaction. I'm not sure that this is a complete list of types of interactions. They were just things that came to me as I was creating the form. I would very much like your feedback. If there's an interaction that you would like to put in that's not here, it's very easy to add. Just shoot me an email. I'm going to click one in one meeting. And I'm going to type in the date of the meeting. And I'm just going to put 04 slash... 15 2013 using that format will help us um, sort the data later on and I'll show you how, how that will look um, describe the interaction briefly met with Brian for 10 minutes fifth period and we reviewed missing assignments Brian will complete all missing assignments by Friday, April 20. Follow-up plan. Uh, Brian and Mr. Weaver will meet again. Friday, fifth period, to 
to check on progress. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a date in there, Friday, April 20th, 5th period. And I'm going to click Submit. And it's gone. If I have another entry to make, all I need to do is to click on Submit Another Form. And it will take me right back to a blank form and I can start over again. I'd like to briefly show you what this all looks like. When I go to my Google, I'm going to hit refresh here. And I'm going to pause my recording for a second to figure out what went wrong here. All right, so here we are back. I opened up my folder again, and here's the form, and here's the responses. Found the responses in a different spot than I expected, and here you can see are my experiments today. Um, so I was just trying out this data to see if it was working. Here's the one I just made for you. It was time stamped at five o'clock. Um, was under my staff name, the student's name, one to one meeting, the date. Meet met with Brian for ten minutes. Brian will complete all missing assignments. Brian and Mr. Weaver will meet again Friday, April twentieth. Now, as we all enter data, this is just going to enter in one line after another. It's just going to aggregate. It's going to keep going. Every time you hit submit form, it's going to add a line here. And this, the spreadsheet will be available uh, and we can access it. We can sort it by student. We can sort it by staff name. Students sort it by date. Um, we can put it to pre um, outcome reports if we wanted. But this will be a way for us to keep track of how kids are doing. So I hope that was helpful. I showed you how to create a uh, shortcut, and then I showed you how to access the form and enter the data. Please let me know if this is working for you, if there are changes you'd like to make, or if you have suggestions of any kind. Thanks.